channel. My name is Laura and today I am doing Friday Reads, but actually I'm going to do my wrap up for the month of September 1st and then tell you what I'm reading for the rest of the week. So I read one, two, three, four, five books and I'm going by my journal. So here's my journal. Okay. Um, so five books. I'm going to share with you what I thought of the five books that I read. So the first book that I completed was the game of thrones and i'll put the picture here um yeah this one i started reading it in june it took me all the way to september to read it i listened to it on audio i followed along while they were reading it to me i really really enjoyed the story i did drop it down a star i gave it four stars there's a lot of violence in this book a lot of sexual content and uh yeah sexual content on minors uh, yeah, so that's why I dropped it down a four to a four star, but I really enjoyed the story. If you watch season one of the TV show, it is exactly like the TV show. So yeah, I did watch the TV show first, so I was able to, um, go along without, with the book and understand what was happening and all the, the building and all that, the world building and stuff. So, uh, yes, I did watch season two. I plan to, um... Uh, read the second book eventually. I am on a wait list at the library so for the audiobook so uh, eventually I will get that. I don't know if I'm going to read it in 2016. Whenever they call me for the audiobook I will be reading book two so I already own it. So okay so starting the second book that I read was The Kinds Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. I'll put the picture here. Uh, this book is my K read for my ABC challenge and I loved it. It was an adult psychological thriller. Um, it was very fast paced, but lots of twists and turns. I gave it five stars. It is in my favorites. Yes. And I listened to it on audio. It was really, really good audio, uh, with different point of views and it was really good. So yeah, I highly recommend it. Remember, it is an adult book. It does have sexual content in it. So, okay, the next book that I ha took out from the library was Most Wanted by Lisa Scottolini. This is the first book that I read by her, and I gave it three and a half stars. It started out really, really good. And if you look at my notes, I have a long list of my notes of why I liked it and why I didn't like it. Okay. So it starts out really good. It's about a couple, Christine and Marcus. Uh, Marcus, uh, they're married and they can't have children, so they go to an um, infertility specialist, and they um, the husband can't um, have any, he can't have any the sperm's not good, so they go to an uh, infertility uh, specialist who uh, gets a donor for the sperm and she eventually gets pregnant and she is pregnant and she's two months pregnant now and she's watching TV and she sees uh, a serial killer gets arrested and she sees him and she's like, that looks like my donor because she had a picture of the donor who donated the sperm. So um, that part, I all the way up to that part, I really enjoyed the book. And then it got really unrealistic to me and there's things in the book, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it just got very unrealistic after that point and there's things that she did that I don't think a normal person would do. She is a teacher and I know that I would not do what she did. So, uh, yeah, so I dropped it down and I gave it three and a half. I was struggling between a three and four star, so it's really a three and a half for me. Okay, the next book. The next book is another book that I read for a very, very long time. I finally finished it. Um, I finally finished Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gobelden. I'll put the picture here. Um, and this one I listened to on audio. I started this in March and I ended it in September, finally. I had a very, very slow book. Um, I had to put it down for a couple of months and then I picked it back up and I finally finished it. It's just a lot of stuff that wasn't, it was very, very slow and very descriptive, very slow. Um, I am watching the TV show. I am up, um, 
the show, I think, is doing a really good job of portraying book two. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and it does leave on a cliffhanger, so I do have Voyager, and I hope to read Voyager um, sometime soon. Um, and again, I listened to this one on audio. Um, but yeah, but it, it was very, very slow and very boring at parts. So, yeah. <laughs> so I gave it three stars. The last book uh, that I finished was Forever in Blue, which is book four of uh, by Anne Brushers. Um, and this one I listened to on audio. I wanted to finish the series because I did start the series in June. Um, this one um, turned out to be very mature. Uh, the girls um, had lots of sexual content in this book. So, uh, yeah, I dropped it down to a two star. I didn't really like it very much. Uh, yeah, so uh, the there were still quotes in between each chapter, which didn't... didn't it didn't do anything for the book. It didn't add anything. It, it was just kind of annoying. I like to skip those parts. And um, then the POV is also changed. Again, she never um, fixed from book one. <laughs> Her POV is she would change this, the person talking and you'd be like, what? Who's talking now? Like, it was very confusing. Like she should have put like a different chapters, each person speaking. So at least you could figure out who's talking. It just totally uh, changed and that just annoyed me. So um, down to two star. I wanted, that was it for what I completed. I wanted to complete one today. Uh, today is the 29th. So I wanted to complete one. Uh, by today and tomorrow and I think I will be cleaning it um, after this video is um, uh, uploaded and recorded so the book that I hope to finish is this one and include it um, I'll see you again I've been reading a lot of this uh, last night to catch up this is by Jackie Hans um, and it's a true story nonfiction I am on page 187 so I was hoping that I only have a few pages left. I was hoping to finish it for the month of September, but it, I might run into the beginning of October. So, uh, yes, I have this one out from the library, and I hope to finish this one as well. So, okay, so on to the books that I'm reading uh, for this week. And I'm starting, I got this. On audio, so I am starting this. Um, I I think I listened to chapter one already because uh, I listened to it on the way home from work today. And yeah, so this is a very pretty cover. I don't know if you've seen this, but look at the inside of this book. Wow, that's pretty cool. So I this is the first time I'm seeing it. So yeah, very pretty inside. I don't know what the outside looks like. The outside is just black, but the inside that's pretty pretty. So. Yeah, so I'm starting this on audio. I got it out from the library, and I'm going to be following along. Uh, this is the last. Oh, no, there's one more book after this one. So, yeah, so hopefully um, I will like it. Uh, this series for me is going up and down. Three, four, three, four. It's back and forth. I'm, I'm hoping that I like winter. Uh, so that's that. I'm still reading this one, The Joy of Less. Um, I'm reading this every once in a while when I don't want to read fiction. I want to read something non-fiction. So this is helping me declutter my house and stuff. So I'm reading this one. And um, I'm reading a horror. And I'm reading Anna Dressed in Blood. Um, I'm not going to finish this tonight. So I am only on page 128. Um, I'm liking it so far. Um, I don't think it's a five star. It might be a four star for me. Uh, but I am liking it and I'm going to continue on and see. Hopefully it will stay in the four star. So we'll see. So that's this one. And I got this one in the mail. I did a, uh, unboxing, uh, but I didn't, um, put it up. I got this one in the mail. The only alien on the planet. Uh, by Christine D. Randall and I read the first chapter already so I really liked what I read so far so um, I'm hoping to continue on reading this uh, for the month of October so so that's it so these are the books that I'm reading currently reading and I'm hoping I don't DNF anything but yeah so this is what I'm currently reading so anyway I hope you enjoyed this um, 
and have a great holiday. I have a holiday weekend coming up. Very uh, Rosh Hashanah is coming up for us. Um, so I'm going to be very, very busy. Uh, so have a happy um, New Year and to all my Jewish friends. And um, that's it. So have a great week and I'll see you in another video. Bye.